All right. So regarding that blue coin switch from the last episode, I could have collected like uh, more than four blue coins from that. Uh, maybe like five or six or seven even. And I only needed one of them to uh, get the 100 coins. But there it is. And with that, uh, welcome back to uh, more Mario 64 with Hugo the Icy Fire. And then this time we are going to finish up uh, uh, this stage right here. It's called uh, Hazy Maze Cave, course number six. And uh, the star which we are aiming for right now is called Metalhead Mario Can Move. So I am planning to do something a bit uh, different for for the beginning of this episode. If you paid attention during my fast forward segment last time, then you probably noticed that uh, I pretty much uh, revealed all of the other star locations for this map, for this stage. So after getting this one, be careful with your long jumps. So because I basically showcased all of the other star locations in, during the fast forward segment, uh, I am just going to cut ahead uh, to uh, when I'm getting them. Number 4, Navigating the Toxic Maze. And I remember this one actually leaving me stumped uh, as a kid because uh, for some reason I did not know how to get uh, to uh, the other side. Uh, from this uh, steel uh, steel net wall here, or metal net, whatever. I guess I just didn't really bother to uh, properly explore the toxic maze, huh? Number five, amazing emergency exit. Huh. For the record. Uh, Crash Bandicoot uh, can do this uh, sort of thing a lot faster. Pick up the pace, Mario. Here we go. Number six. Watch for rolling rocks. And there we go. So the 100 coin star aside, that stage is actually incredibly short and compact, despite the fact. Hmm. A bit strange, but oh well. So now let's actually go back to the first area of this uh, of the castle because there's one stage we have yet to explore. This is the wrong way by the way. It's this door right here. A sunken ship of sorts. With the sun shining right above the surface, huh? Plunder in the sunken ship. And with sunken in the title, we have to go for a swim, essentially. Now this is one of the stages which you need the metal cap to complete fully. Well, uh, in theory anyway. I'll explain later on, I believe. You see, there's a sunken ship here. And there's a big moray eel just uh, lurking around there. Made that hole his uh, new home. Can we lure him out without touching him? Don't quite remember. Now, because... 
Okay, maybe if we... S maybe if we back away now? Let's look it out again. Oh, there he is. Yeah, so get close to him, go back up, go back down, and he will come out. Hey, buddy, you left your front door open. We don't live in that kind of world, you know. Now we got some treasure chests to open. Was this the first one? Open them, and an air bubble will come out to replenish your oxygen. Or health, rather, because like I said, oxygen and health is one and the same here. But in case that won't do... There is an air pocket right here. No need to worry. So we have to open up these four tre treasure chests in the, in the correct order. That was the wrong one. And you will somehow receive an electric shock. I suppose the pirates were somehow ahead of their time. If they rigged their chests with uh, electrical booby traps. <laughs> but, uh, and, uh, but yeah, that middle one is always the last one. And now the water level will sink. But uh, before we have to uh, endure some platforming, let's just swim up first. Uh, and plunder the star, just like that. You are a pirate. Can the eel come out to play? I mean, do we really want to uh, play with him? That's the question. Okay, let's just dab them at the cap. Audio! <clears throat> These clams uh, hurt. Normally, anyway. What is it with clams and certain people in video games? You just, you just really wonder sometimes. There's a star right there. Can we just fetch it? Nope, there's a strong current going on right now. Okay, um... Anyway, the star for this episode... Where is it now? Let's get some coins first. There is the eel. Moved back in to his old home, I guess. And some people will actually develop a sense of uh, thalassophobia because of this thing. But honestly, even as a kid, never got that feeling. Just a big um, polygon model. And that's it. Here we go. And for those of you who don't know, thalassophobia, I believe it's called, uh, is the fear of a big bodice of water. Where you're basically unable to see the bottom, I guess. From the surface, anyway. I guess you could classify it as dark water. What was it? Treasure, oh yeah, oh, oh, treasure of the ocean cave. I mean, I guess, I guess thus, uh, bleh. I guess uh, Thalassophobia is also fearing dark water. Because oftentimes uh, at a harbor or even a, even a lake, you can't see... You can't see stuff that is in the water from the surface. It's all blue or... Uh, black or navy blue even. <clears throat> uh, keep out! That means you are. Anyone entering this cave without permission will meet certain disaster. Unfortunately, I cannot read. Besides, I laugh at the face of danger. <laughs> and I laugh 
stuff even more when we get to the metal cap, which grants us the priv privilege of invincibility. Have you not played Pokemon? Rock uh, is not effective against the uh, steel types. Uh, with a little bit of assistant uh, with the metal cap, uh, we avoided the worst of the booby trap. And solved the quote unquote puzzle. Here we go. So, in hindsight, Mario 64 is a game with 120 stars. But as you can see, you can beat the game really, really quickly, even 100%. Red coins on the ship afloat. And because it's red coins, well, you should know the drill by now. We are aiming for 100 coins for this episode. Um, before we search the ocean floor for the money, for the gold, for the booty, we are going to uh, employ the services of our little friend here. I mean, they do call pirate ch pirate treasure for booty at times, uh, and of course, uh, such a nickname has the potential for a lot of um, interesting writing, to say the least. I'm not sure why I grabbed that. Okay, careful. Let's maybe zoom out a little bit. Oh boy. Let's uh, board the now, the now floating ship. I guess the one thing keeping the ship down was the treasure containing the greed of the pirates. Original fanfiction, please don't steal. This box right here hurts just by touching it. And. Well, it will squash. It will also squash you. Like it did to me. But water has healing properties, properties even in salt water. I think this is salt water. Do moray eels exist in fresh water? I'm gonna have to look that up, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. But again, there is so there are some more coins floating above the surface. Oh, I found some. Right here, right uh, on the surface. Where? Where were the coins on the surface? Around the stone pillar. That's what I fucking told you, you dumbass! I, I, I thought you meant a different stone pillar. Fucking told you, you fucking retard! Holy shit, I, I even helped you and you were you were too dumb to figure it out. Ah, uh, good times. <clears throat> Nab this shell from that uh, clam, and we get some jet boosting in the water. For only like 5 or 10 second tops, and then it's just up some poofs like that. Disappointed to say the least, but what can you do? Uh, I believe that's all of them right there. The, re the two remaining ones are at the deep depth depths, I believe. And, you, and the clam model just spawned right there. Once again, I'm going to further show that this game has some quote unquote issues with the draw distance. Okay, where's the last one? Hmm. I'd rather not be too much of an idiot to not remembering where the last one are, last one is. And I have to spend an unnecessary amount of time just looking for it. Just like I did in the previous episode for that one final blue coin. Which I wasn't able to get because I'm not slick enough with my controls and it suffers from drifting issues in the first place. There it is, of course.
Now for the remaining 45. <clears throat> So, uh, yeah, there, I believe there are plenty of people in this world who, unfortunately, fear big bodies of water, like, to the point of uh, not being able to go to the beach. Uh, well, they can go to the beach, but uh, can they go for a swim? Like, maybe ride a water jet? Uh, go water skiing? Some people can't do that because they fear uh, large uh, bodies of water like the ocean. A mighty shame. Oh. <clears throat> but I have recently been uh, trying some uh, kayaking in uh, in the fjord uh, in, in the fjord in Norway during the night even. Well, not exactly the night. It it was uh, during the evening, but. Uh, on the northern hem, hem on the northern hemisphere, if I'm even pronouncing that correctly, at the very least in Norway during the winter and this time of year, it gets dark very very early. Like uh, for for people who have typical nine to five jobs, uh, you wake up, you go to work when it's dark, and you come home when it's dark. <laughs> So I did some kayaking uh, in a fjord when it was completely dark. The only light sources we had was uh, where from uh, where from the city lights uh, near the docks uh, and uh, our own our own lights, of course. But yeah, it was quite exciting actually. It was blowing a lot. Uh, there were some waves, uh, but our group did just fine. Nobody tipped over and uh, got wet, uh, thankfully. But we do come equipped with uh, warm dry suits. So even if we fall into the water, we should actually be dry. We will maybe get a little bit cold, but we will for the most part stay dry because of those suits. And uh, yeah. Kind of exciting, but again, a shame that some people can't do it because uh, they have a genuine fear of the ocean. Blast to the stone pillar. Sounds simple enough. Uh. Drifting! <laughs> really? That's a bit... <sighs> you know what grinds my gears? Stone pillar, stone pillar, stone pillar. Okay, this should do it. Perfect. Woo. <coughs> Mario. Get it, to, get it together, Mario. Here we go. Ooh. I said sounds simple enough. And that's because it is. We are already at the final star of this course. <laughs> Through the jet stream. So, uh, again. I'm not even going to bother. Because you saw that star uh, earlier, which was blocked by the jet, jet stream. We are going to need a metal cap for that. But it is possible to get it without the metal cap. You just have to do some really tight uh, pre precision and aiming while you swim downwards. You know, like you're fighting him up. Swim down! Swim down! Swim down. I have done it once actually. But when I try to repeat the process, I seemingly cannot do it. Here we go. <clears throat> it's uh, one of those moments, huh? You do it once, uh, n and then never again. Even if you try your hardest. But that's that course. We got some holes uh, in each side of the walls here, and one of them leads to a, uh, leads to an extra stage of of sorts. A simple cubic chamber filled with water and fish and windows, and we are currently 
in the middle of the sky, apparently. That's, uh... Oddly eerie, but at the same time, kind of relaxing. Perhaps if we could breathe underwater. I mean, Mario could breathe underwater just fine in Super Mario Bros. 1, 3. Was there any swimming in Mario 2, USA? Hmm. I don't think so. So Mario 1, Mario 3, Mario World. The new Super Mario, the new Super Mario Brothers series. Uh, those are games I believe Mario can swim and breathe underwater. Inconsistent, but oh well. <laughs> then again, maybe not, because. Uh, in the 2D Mario games, there is uh, usually a time limit, you know. So you could view that time limit as uh, Mario's oxygen level. Stay too long in the water, and you drown. After all. That's that course, and... Uh, we have just about maybe 8 minutes left of this episode. 10, maybe? Can we push for completing one more stage before calling it off? Uh, okay, now let's go chase this boo. Welcome to the courtyard, I suppose. Uh, okay, just to demonstrate. Watch this. A fucking invincible! Can't kill me while I'm in the water. Man, the water within this castle is quite sacred, I believe. But that's how you deal with those boosts. L is real. That's a whole nother bag of worms. <laughs> and that boo... It just decided to eat a whole stage, huh? Course 5, Big Boo's Haunt. At first hour, go on a ghost hunt. Come on in here, hey, hey, hey. <clears throat> you see, Luigi? I did it before it was cool, or Ah, oh, shut up, you. You know my. <clears throat> you know my game, game was better. Just admit it, brother. Huh. Sometimes I wonder if those mushrooms are really getting to me. It really felt like that box was uh, taking me for a ride. A wilder one, a wilder one, and then with Yoshi. Sweet mercy of a Batman! Whether you believe me or not, uh, that piano did not scare me. I swear. <laughs> anyway, we got grab the vanish cap, and we can go through this wall. Ghosts, don't die! <laughs> Can you get out of here alive? Is that a challenge? <clears throat> I believe you got the wrong guy. It's the green one who fears ghosts. Ah, uh, but I had a vacuum cleaner. What do you have? So yeah, the goal of this uh, star mission is to defeat all of the boos. And for everyone who beat, uh, they will repeat that same uh, voice line. Or line of text, rather. So yeah, you basically have to search all of the rooms. Uh, they are a bit slow to get... Um, to get I to get eye contact with you, in which case when they, when they do, they will turn invisible. They are shy ghosts. Boom! Here comes the master of mischief, the Tower of Terror, the Big Boo! <laughs> That's it. 
if we return to the main hall now. There's a big boom. Did not even have to look at. <clears throat> name. Name the reference to that Smash Bros. Uh, professional. Here we go! Okay. Um... I might actually stop it there. Um... When we reach the red coin one. Because searching for the 100 coins here could take quite a while. Right, big boost merry-go-round. I uh, hope it doesn't mean what I think it means. <clears throat> is there something you want to sh is there something you would like to share, brother? <clears throat> Who are you, by the way? I keep hearing these voices, and they somehow remind me of the green one. I have a name already. Use it. <clears throat> uh, where was I? Oh yeah, right. Geronimo. Is there a party going on? I believe I'll invite myself. And apparently, I'm the only one here. But yeah, this is the merry-go-round. And just like the first mission, we got some boost to defeat. 20 coins already, wow, okay. Um, after defeating five, the big one will come out to play again. Once again, did not have to look, and thank goodness the music stopped. It was getting a bit old after the first time. Ooh. Back in we go. Secret of the Haunted Books. <laughs> So yes, yeah, so this stage uh, can only be completed if you have uh, the Vanish Cap. But because we have unlocked all of the caps now, we can basically focus on uh, f clearing out uh, each uh, and every stage without uh, leaving them. Temporarily. Huh. I think I should have stayed in class. <laughs> This does feel like a nightmare for the times uh, I skipped out. I was a young mind back then. Top one, bottom one, middle one. They say knowledge corrupts. Do I really want to venture further? Here we go. Am I even doing a decent parody voice of Mario now? Maybe I should try for a real one. <laughs> Secret of the Heart of Books. Yeah, I think the I think the next one is the coin star. Uh red coin. Um Nah, I think I'll stop here, actually. For this episode. So next time we'll be returning to the big boost haunt, get the rest of the star, and continue on exploring Peach's castle. I will see you then. Goodbye for now and take care.